Kubernetes brings you a lot of tooling for stateless applications. So right out of the box, you have all the tools and all the artifacts and primitives you need in order to make that happen. Now, people got used to that and people got, fell in love with Kubernetes, right? Um, now they want to bring their stateful applications. And storage is, you know, if not the prime example for a stateful application. So they want to bring that on the cluster as well. And that is uh, one driver for stuff like operators, right? So if you want to have that outside of your cluster, you need to run an additional thing, right? And you don't want to do that. You want to have that all in cluster, which makes it transportable, right? So you don't need to do anything else once you have a Kubernetes cluster somewhere else, right? You can basically deploy the operator and um, uh, have the same experience, no matter if you're in the cloud, in a staging environment that might be on-premise, or on your local developer workstation, on your notebook, you have the same experience. And I think this is really what people wanted in terms of freedom and independence of um, like some of the other choices you have out there where you consume this as a service from a platform like a cloud provider.